Hi, I'm Nick Savdalis. I'm a psychologist by training. I'm a professor at the National University of Singapore and the academic director of the Center for Behavioral and Implementation Science Interventions. I'm also the academic director of the Master in Science in Behavioral and Implementation Sciences in Health. My name is Joanne Young. I'm an economist. I work in the areas of health finance, social care. I'm an interdisciplinary researcher with a real interest in how impact is made in the world. My name is Tiki Pa. I'm a visiting professor at the Yong Lulin School of Medicine. My own background is in uh, microbiology, infectious diseases. I work for the World Health Organization, particularly in the area of evidence and information for policies. As I was trying to study and improve healthcare processes in the context of surgical care or cancer care, I was getting, alongside my colleagues, increasingly frustrated that all the interventions that we're evaluating and producing were not routinely implemented, even in the hospital systems which were employing us at the time. There's a lot of evidence that says it takes sometimes between 15 to 20 years before a product or an innovation actually gets used in delivery of healthcare. There are reasons at many levels for why we don't see that change happen. We have individual biases, sometimes explicit biases that we're aware of, but sometimes also biases that we're not aware of. But we also have systematic barriers that prevent change from happening. Some of these are visible, some of these are less visible. What implementation scientists do is they study the process of implementation. We do that by observing what people do, we analyze that systematically. We try and find what stops people from implementing a novel intervention or a novel pathway or a novel device. It's not enough for us to have research. It's not enough for us to have scientific evidence. If that evidence doesn't make it to the bedside, it doesn't make it into the healthcare system. So the value of BIS, if you like, Behavioral Implementation Science, is in addressing that very last step in the whole sequence of how science and research can improve health. BUSY is the first centre that aims to bring together healthcare scientists who study implementation processes and behaviour change in the context of healthcare. We wish to offer research, education, capacity development and networking. We wish to be a place where people are coming together to discuss and debate uh, and exchange ideas about what priorities we have to study in Singapore, but also more widely in Southeast Asia and beyond. A healthcare professional who understands behavioural and implementation science will be able to better assess needs on the ground, to understand the complex circumstances in which they're working, to better design programmes that work for their patients as well as their peers, and to think about how we evaluate those programmes in a way that is rigorous, systematic and helps the system to further change for the better. Our master's program in behavioral implementation sciences in health is our flagship program that aims to deliver this high level of capacity development. It's a program that covers introductory, intermediate, but also advanced aspects of implementation behavioral science methodologies in the context of health and healthcare. What we'll be giving you is a toolkit that includes both qualitative and quantitative methods and a combined lens for thinking about how to do this in a practical and effective way on the ground. We very much look forward to welcoming you to our master program to the National University of Singapore and to Singapore itself. You will have a wonderful time, you will be challenged intellectually and academically, you will learn a whole lot of new things and you're going to have a lot of fun doing so.